Hello students and welcome back. Our today's topic is kinematics of circular motion. In this video, we are going to discuss linear speed and linear velocity in case of circular motion. Let's take an example of the car performing circular motion. To specify its position, let's consider coordinate system in which origin is at center. During the motion, the car is at position A in time T1. It reached to the position B in time T2. The total distance covered by the car from position A to B is delta S. Therefore, distance covered by the car in finite time delta T is equal to delta S, where delta T is equal to T2 minus T1. Now, the average speed of the car is equal to total distance covered upon total time required, which is equal to delta S upon delta T. Note down student, symbol delta is used for finite motion. Now for the same situation, let's find out displacement. For that, we need to draw position vector. Let vector R1 is the position vector at A with respect to origin. And the vector R2 is the position vector at B with respect to origin. Direction of position vector is away from the origin. In the case of circular motion, the position vectors are also known as radius vector. The radius vectors are vector in which magnitude of the vector is same, but their direction changes. Here you can see student in a diagram Direction of a radius vector at position A and at position B are different, but their magnitudes are same. Now join vector AB, which gives us displacement vector delta R. Student, we already discussed that magnitude of radius vector does not change. Only direction of a radius vector changes. Therefore, vector delta r is the vector which gives you the change in the direction of radius vector so i again repeat student vector delta r is due to the change in the direction of radius vector now using triangle law of vector addition i can write vector r2 is equal to vector r1 plus vector delta r which can also be written as Vector delta R is equal to vector R2 minus vector R1. Vector delta R is a displacement in finite time delta T. From this, I can write average velocity of the car, which is equal to displacement upon time, which is equal to vector delta R upon delta T. Here, for finite time interval, we observe student distance is not equal to magnitude of displacement it because direction of motion changes therefore average speed is not equal to magnitude of average velocity now let's consider the motion of the car for very small time interval which is dt Note down student, symbol D is used for infinite simul motion. So, initially, the car is at position A. In time dt, it reached to the position B. So, the total distance covered by the car from position A to B is ds. Now, let's, now let's find displacement. The displacement of the car is vector dr as you can see student over here as delta t tends to zero distance approaches to displacement so that in finite simul time interval dt distance is equal to displacement it is happen because direction of motion does not change here you can see student the car move along the straight path in the same direction so that I can write distance is equal to displacement. D 
ds and the vector dr are called instantaneous distance and instantaneous displacement respectively vector dr is a perpendicular to vector r1 and vector r2 as we know student in the geometry of the circle tangent is perpendicular to the radius therefore direction of vector dr is a tangent to the circular path at that point by using this instantaneous distance and displacement i can write formula for the instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity instantaneous speed is equal to limit of average speed as delta t tends to zero similarly i can write instantaneous velocity is equal to limit of average velocity as a delta t tends to zero which is equal to vector dr upon dt we know student for the instantaneous motion distance is equal to displacement therefore i can write instantaneous speed is equal to instantaneous velocity direction of instantaneous velocity is same as vector dr that is tangent to the circular path at that point now we know student that a vector delta r is due to the change in the direction of a radius vector instantaneous velocity is the rate of change of direction of radius vector and here the magnitude of the velocity is a constant in the case of uniform circular motion the object covers equal distance in equal interval of time in time dt lets the car covers equal distance therefore the total distance covered delta s by the car in a time delta t gives average speed which is equal to magnitude of instantaneous velocity now student for non uniform circular motion we know the object covers unequal distance in equal interval of time now i ask you student to write the relation between speed and velocity in a case of non uniform circular motion thank you